Hello and welcome to the Underground. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your NetFree gateway to work with your EOS console. Here is our network setup. In the center, we have a generic network switch. It can be a managed or unmanaged switch. Connected to the switch, we have a laptop, which we're going to use to run NetFree Concert to configure the system. And we have our Geo console and our NetFree gateway connected. Okay, so now I'm going to set the IP address on my laptop. To do this, I'm going to right click my network icon and select Open Network and the Internet Settings. Once in here, I'm going to go to Change Adapter Options. Then I'm going to select the network interface that I'm going to be using and I'm going to right click that and go to Properties. Once in here, I'm going to scroll down to find Internet Protocol version 4. I'm going to select that and click properties. Then I'm going to select use the following IP address and I'm going to type in here 10.101.1.101 and then in subnet mask I'm going to make sure we've got 255.255.0.0. We don't need to configure any of the other options so I'm going to select OK and then click close. Now my IP address is set. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fire up NetFree Concert. You may need to select the network interface that you need Concert to work with. To do this, go to the Options tab and then to Preferences. In here, select the Network tab and you can check the right interface. You can see down here that the, G the Geo has been discovered via NetFree Concert, but our NetFree Gateway has not. This is because there is no DHCP server on the network, so the gateway does not have an IP address. So to correct this, we're going to go to the options menu and find unreachable devices. What this is going to do is this is going to go out on the network and search for any device that does not have an IP address that matches the range of what concert is running on. So you can see here we have found a brand new NetFree gateway with a link local address. So we're going to select this gateway and hit next and we're going to make sure it's checked because what this is now going to do is it's going to go out there and it's going to assign an IP address that is on the same range as the laptop. So you can see here concert has selected to give it the IP address 10.101.50.61. That is going to work with our, with our IP range but we can change it here or set obtain IP address automatically if we have a DHCP server online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit finish now and you can see here concert is going to go out and it is going to configure this gateway for us. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the world view and once the gateway has rebooted we should see it pop up down here in discovered devices. Okay, now we can see our gateway has, has been discovered by concert so we're going to drag this in. So now you can see Concert is now talking to the gateway directly to get its current configuration. Before we go any further, I'm going to hit the Live Edit button, which is this icon up here. What this means is when this is enabled, any change we make inside Concert is going to be automatically sent to the gateway. So now with Live Edit enabled, I'm just going to double click on the gateway. And you can see now we're in the Gateway Editor you can see it has found which particular sleds we have inside the gateway. So I have three output sleds and one input sled. So by clicking on each one, we can see what they're configured to. So for my setup, I want port one to be universe one out, port two to be universe two out, port three to be universe three out, and port four to be universe one in. You can see that currently universe 4 is set to an input. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to be universe 1 in and I'm going to hit apply changes. You can now see that concert is sending the new device configuration to the gateway. Okay, now we're at our console. There's a few things we just want to check. So at the shell, I'm going to go into settings and onto the network tab. If we scroll up to the top, you can see here our IP address and subnet mask are set to the same range as the gateway and the laptop, and that it is online. 
Next thing I'm going to check is the SACN is checked on the same output that is online and set to the same IP range. I'm going to make sure it's set to default so we don't have to specify SACN in our patch. And our SACN start is set to 1 and we're running release version. This should be all we need to do in our, in our shell settings. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch as primary and now my console should start outputting SACN to the gateway.